Hey everyone, welcome to our festival playlist of autumn. Now I will show you the weekly challenges, the cars that you get and the cars that I used for all these things. So first, what car do we get? The Mustang RTR number 25 at 50% and at 100% complete we get the Pontiac GTO 65. Now this is the Mustang that we're getting. I made a design for it. I didn't tune it yet, but I'll tune it for uh, drifting. This is real wheel drive, so we'll have a look later on. Okay, let's have a look at the weekly challenge. Well, let's see first at the uh, Forraton shop. So what do we get? An Austin Martin DBR1. That's a pretty expensive car. It, I'm not sure if it's a 10 million car in the auto show, but if you don't have it, it's better to buy it here in a Forraton shop. The Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, that's uh, a car that was in the beginning of the game. A lot of people were missing that car, so it was very rare. So if you need one, you better get it now. Then we get some t-shirts from RTR and an ice cream van, Carnhorn, and of course the super wheel spins and the normal wheel spins. Okay, let's have a look. We need to own and drive an extreme off-road vehicle. Now, what car did I use? I used my borrower for that. So, let's have a look here. The bowler, the tune and design, it's been shared a while ago. Uh, we had to use it uh, before also. So, we're gonna use this one. This is the first weekly challenge. Now, the second one, we need to complete five cross-country series events in an extreme off-road vehicle. Now, as usual, I'll just make a blueprint for that. So put cross country, then here at the beach under the Titan, we got Castle cross country circuits. And I will show you how fast you can just do this five times. So you don't need to do any others uh, to do that. You go to custom events and then you see easy for the ton extreme off-road this is an older one from a previous photon so you need this one if you don't find it you just put in veloster in search and then it will pop up i take my borrower again you can take another off-road uh, extreme off-road car but i just use my borrower for that now, normally I always say put it on new racer, it's easy to win, but this one actually doesn't matter. You can uh, you can put it on, it's, it's on expert because I did the seasonals, but you can put it on unbeatable. And why? Because it only takes 7 seconds to do this. Just drive straight. Dravatars will have a view at the beach at the castle there you go so you can do this five times just continue continue don't mind the credits it's like nothing for seven seconds but this is the second weekly challenge so it's here at the beach at the castle cross-country circuit now what's next we need to have two stars on a speed zone. And as you can see here, we need also 10 ultimate racket skills in the extreme off roads. So I'll show you where I did it. So let's have a look at the speed zones. Now I used this one. Now I actually used... Uh, Oh, no, 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 I used this one. So, you start here. So, we only need two stars. That's pretty easy. 
you just drive this one in an S1 car you can easily get uh, two stars you don't need to put uh, a lot of effort in it you can actually just drive slo slowly but you can you can take whatever speed so uh, speed zone you want so this is a third weekly challenge that was also a very easy one now the fourth one is 10 ultimate racket skills that's why I actually took that speed zone because you can just stay here just put the car in second gear and you just hit there are a lot of uh, breakable walls and fences here that will give you the ultimate racket so just drive like this and you will get it just don't hit a tree well if you got the perk points on you can actually hit a tree once but as you can see here there is a lot that you can actually use and break just keep doing this till uh, the Forzaton thing pops up and then you are done with this there is an awesome wreckage so you need that 10 times okay that's it for the weekly challenge now you also have the daily challenge that one I actually got from uh, doing these so let's have a look at the trail the trail here we need a hypercar and s2 the car that I used for this so I put my favorites s2 and then I take a hypercar I took the Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster that's a very good car it drives on uh, it drives good on dry and on wet. Uh, I got a tune for it and a design. You can download it if you like. But that's the car that I used for this event. Now, what's the next one? Here, the PR stunts I will show you after these. Then, don't need roads. Here, you need an extreme off road A class. The car I used for extreme off-road A-class favorites A class oh that's B class A class and then we go here to extreme off-road I used the war talk for that um, that tune and design I got actually two designs for that that's been shared a while ago because we had to use it also but this is the car I used for this one now what's next uh, let's have a look all fall down this is classic rally and we can go to c-class now that's also a car we used before so again c-class and then we go to classic rally the Lancia Stratos now that was a pretty slow race to do it took long because it's C-class and goes so slow but that's the car I used for that one now here what's next uh, la, 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 rail yard rumble rally monster S1900 we need here the car I used for that was actually the Hooligan. Uh, where are you? What was that? Extreme. Uh, where? Extreme off. No, wait. Excuse me. I forgot what it was. Ah, Rally Monster. Ah, I'm sorry. So, favorite S1, and then you got the Rally Monster. Now, everybody should have this Ford Hoonigan RS200. Um, that tune and design has also been shared a long time ago because we had to use it before. So, I used this one for that. 
Okay, let's go to the next one. PR, PR stunts. I did this one. Now, here at uh, Edinburgh Station Circuit, it's a uh, Monte Rival. As I said before in my video, um, it takes it, it, it's a month, so it's, it's a monthly rival. What you need to do is you can just go to the, the lowest on the bottom or the slowest time and you just beat it. That's the easiest way to do that. So just change your rival and pick one that is very slow. Now here, online adventure, that's been like a big pain in the ass to do for a lot of people uh, from the festival playlist from the summer because there was like constantly disconnecting. Now I also got questions, do I need to finish? Uh, do I need to win the lobbies? Well, actually, no. If you go to ranked, you see these three. So you can actually pick, do team or do playgrounds or do free for all. If you really don't bother about uh, the league you get, just pick something. Um, if you lose every lobby or you have DNFs or whatever, if you can actually do the 10, the 10 uh, lobbies you have to do, you will get a league. But if you don't win or you don't finish, you get a low, uh, a pink one, maybe a league 20. But if you don't care about your rank, you don't need to finish and you don't need to win. That's what I had to say about this because I got questions about that. Okay, the next one. Here, the PR stunt. Uh, let's see, we need a speed zone. The car I used for that, I used my Ferrari F40C. So a S2 car and then we go to Ferrari. This is actually the car that I used, the Ferrari F40C. The tune and design is also shared. The car drives good on dry and wet roads. So you should be easily getting that speed zone. Now the next PR stunt, this is this jump. Now you just start from here and you just drive here. It's a pretty easy one. Just don't land on the building that's here. The car that I used for that, I was actually still in my um, in my Hoonigan. So I, it was actually the S1 Hoonigan that I used because I came out of that race. So I actually used this one. Or you can use the S2 one. That's even more easier but you just can use the s1 it's good enough for that jump now what's next pr stunts the drift i think you needed like 71,000 points for that you can just start here at this one and just do the drift zone like this in this order now, the car that I used, been a while since I used that car, but um, it's actually a very, very easy car to drift. I tuned it a long time ago. It's the car here, the Chevy uh, drift truck. You just put uh, traction control stability off. You can put simulation on. You actually don't need to put simulation on with this car, but you can drive on normal. But I recommend you to do it on simulation. But if you're not used to it, just uh, use normal. It's uh, the tune is um, very easy to drift with. So that's the car I used for the drift. Okay, I think I got everything. Yeah, that's it. So the cars that we get are here shown. If you've done everything here in gold, you should be able to be on 94%. And here, of course, are the dailies that will give you 100%. So be sure that you actually have 100%. Now, if you don't have life or you missed even one daily, then you will have to wait another month 
and you probably can win this again i'm not sure about that but or otherwise you need to go to the auction now it also gave me the ferrari f50 gt but you can actually buy it also on the auto show it's not a rare car it's just a car in the auto show the problem here also is if you didn't have here 100 percent on summer you won't be able to get the ford capri forza edition anymore so they actually make you do make you play every day the stuff that people not always want to play or don't like to play but if you really want this car and you don't want to go to the auction for hours to find it you have to need to have everything on 100 percent complete of these seasonals okay that's it i showed every car i showed the weekly if you have any questions oh i forgot one little thing the only thing what you can actually win is here you can win a nice gold cowboy hat all the rest of these you can just win a wheel spin and all the skills you can win a super wheel spin still don't get it but it's okay you get a super wheel spin for a skill test and you get a normal wheel spin for racing now just go in a convoy and do this especially this one uh, the the playground games you are uh, as here do it in a convoy with like three or four people it's easier to win this than just going alone into it um that's easier uh that's all i need to say if you need help or you still got questions send me a message or comment on my video and i will be gladly to help you out okay that's it for this video i will see you in the winter have a nice day. Goodbye.